<laughs> How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another edition of I guess this is Transylvanian Girlfriend Reacts and today we are watching Jaws. Now Jaws is one of my all-time favorite films. Um, I think the first time I watched it I bought the video from my, out of my communion money when I was seven. Actually I have a distinct memory of seeing the video the week before I was in the shopping center, the Crescent it was called. And I was like, oh, I'm going to buy that next week. And I did indeed buy it. And I had a... No, I'd heard of Jaws before that, but I think I'd seen Jaws the Revenge first, or just clips of it when I was very young. Was that on DVD? No, this was back videotape. This is the 90s. So VHS? Yeah, VHS. Oh, yes. brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Um, is that a right thing to do for a Catholic boy? You know, get the communion money <laughs> and then look at... Look at... Jaws. One of the creatures that God never created. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not yeah. sure that. Well, I also you know... bought Homeward Bound, which was a Disney movie, so I bought that as well. So that kind of it was a cancel each other out, you know, it was a counterbalance. So, eh. but I just ask you, what do you know about Jaws? Oh, I thought I thought you were asking uh, the guys out there what they think if it's Catholic enough to buy, <laughs> you know, Jaws from your communion money. Um... <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, to be to be to be to be uh, uh, perfectly blunt, I'm sure I've seen one or two scenes floating yeah, around television like... uh, when I was a child. Um, so um, yeah, um, you I know think... the music. You know the music. Yeah, everyone yeah, knows the music. Yeah. I know the music. I'm pretty sure I've seen some shark teeth sometime. Shark um, teeth. So and I've also uh, heard that this movie. Uh, made the reputation of the the shark uh, really bad. Yeah. So it destroyed the reputation well, of the shark. And actually, we're 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 currently, I think, uh, in a in a very low level of sharks, I believe. Hmm. So. Uh, oh, it's interesting you said. Not that. sure it helped. No, it didn't because <laughs> and actually the guy who wrote the novel, Peter Benchley, said that he regretted writing it if he know because he actually loves sharks. He just thought it'd be an interesting story to write. And he said if he'd known the impact it was going to have, and I think the film probably did it more so than the book, but yeah. he said if he had known the impact it was going to have, he never would have wrote it. Well, to be fair, so. people are also, you know, not very smart. So always, uh, not always very smart. So like, you know, they see a, a thing like that. But you were afraid of sharks. You said if, if, if uh, you would never swim in an, in an ocean that would possibly have a, no, when a I was shark in, in it. when I was in America, like, I was in Miami and I was like, I'm not going into the ocean at all. Swimming pool is fine. Uh, no, I wouldn't do it. I but I don't think the, the... that's not because of jaw stuff. That's just in general. I just, you know, I, I know it's very unlikely. It's very unlikely, but still. Not to say very unlikely, it's just like nearly impossible. I, mean, I think it's a better chance of getting hit by lightning, but like, yeah, you know, I mean, I saw a video, awful video, uh, a few months back of a Russian. Of, of someone you know, Russian being man hit was... by lightning? No, no, no. <laughs> actually being like, eaten by a shark. Oh. It was horrible. Um, yeah, I mean that they it happens, but let's face it, it's just it very, yeah. very seldom. Yeah. But if it happens, then people go crazy and they report mm. on it and everything, you know. Well, I, but... I do agree though. Like if if if, if there's a shark in the area and someone has been attacked, killed, and... that's a different thing. No, but then they actually, saying, then, they, they, I agree with them killing it. Then if it's like a danger yeah. to the public, but yeah, yeah, in general, like I think people have done hunted sharks after this. Uh, so we're kind of not giving the, the film a good name at the moment. <laughs> that aside, it is as a film, it's brilliant. Well, I hope you enjoy it. I, I think it's a phenomenal film. But um, we might as well just get into it. But just before we do, guys, just there will be a full uncut reaction to this. Uh, go to my Patreon page. Link will be in the description if you want to check that out. And as always, a quick shout out to my patrons: uh, to Ravi, to James sixty three, to Jonathan, to Blaze, to Mary, to Gigi Gooding, and to Michal. Thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate it. That said, we will watch the film that destroys the reputation of sharks. And uh, <laughs> well, if if I'm a lot whiter after after this, you know, it's uh, it's because I'm terrified of yeah, a I, I, big white pool I, shark. I, I, I mean, you you you. Terminator, you did well with, that was good. and then there was yeah, but Psycho. Yeah, that was not that scary. Exactly, I think this is could be an, another step. But we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes anyway. Yeah. <laughs> that score to that is brilliant. It is isn't it? such yeah. a, such an incredible composition. Yeah. John Williams. Say, so don't want to be there. It looks like so much crack. 
it got the novel. It has the original cover. My next thing, Killian, got it for me. Oh, really? Birthday a few years ago. So it's like he also loved Joe's. Loved the book, but it's a sentimental value now as well, you know. Ooh, white haired girl. It's gonna be the first one to be Pretty. eaten by the shark, isn't she? <laughs> Where are we going? Swimming! And she's in. I'm guessing. <laughs> You're like, this, that was quick. This, is that a boy or is that a, the That's shark? That's a boy. That's a great shot, isn't it? Brilliant shot. I love underwater shots. <gasps> uh oh. Shock? What? What's with him? It's drunk. Hold on to the boy. No, that's not gonna help. <laughs> well, sometimes they would bite and go away and then come back. But in a way, that's almost like an advertisement for alcohol. It's like drinking saved his life. <laughs> we don't. Was she? There's somebody feed the oh. dogs. Looks a bit like Lady Gaga. Right. They're in the yard, not too far from the car. New York accent. <laughs> yeah. Why does he have two telephones? I have no idea. Yeah. We didn't have a telephone in the 90s. <laughs> what? Yeah. 1996. We didn't have a telephone. So the mid 90s, no. You're joking. No, no. Maybe it was the early 90s, I can't remember. I think my grandparents got one in the 70s. That's so what I'm saying, he had two. Uh oh, what did he find? Foot or something? Oh. Ugh! What's that, a hand? No, you don't drown. Like that. The nine year old from the school have been. Karate! The picket fences! Stop that! Sorry. <laughs> That's supposed to be coroner's office? Yeah, it's supposed to spell wrong, isn't it? Yeah, you put coroner's yeah. office. Look, there's a parade. Fourth of July celebration coming Ooh, up. Ooh, the Fourth of July! No beat balls. If I can't so get service. For... <laughs> like he wants to make signs, like, don't go yeah, to the water. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. That's what he said. That's not what you told me over the phone, is it? You yell Barracuda. Everybody says, huh? What? You yell shark. We've got a panic on our hands on the fourth of July. It's like whenever you see beach, ocean, and people just feel tense, don't you? Can you get me your ass and go back out in the water? Is that him? What? No, 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 it's just a random guy, right? Uh oh. Uh. No, yeah, no, exactly, that's what he thought he was always defenders. In front of the house, I can't get down to the office and that garbage truck next to the office. Ah. Uh -huh. Red herrings. <laughs> what's great is if you feel like him, mm -hmm. you're watching the whole time. Mm -hmm. What's happening here? Turn around. Uh oh. There's even little kids, I don't want oh, that. He's on too soon. You are uptight. Yes. Come on. You're uptight only because yeah. some lady was eaten yeah. by a shark. Uh uh. The one boy. There's a ten more minutes. We don't even know if there's a shark around here. Uh, is that three thousand dollar bounty on the shark in cash or check? Uh, <laughs> they're ridiculing it. Mm. And then we're going to try and use uh, shark spotters on the beach. Are you going to close the beaches? Yes, we are. Know how I earn a living? I'll catch this bird for you, but it ain't going to be easy. I'll find him for three. 
but I'll catch him and kill him for ten thousand dollars for me by myself. For that you get the head, the tail, the whole damn thing. Well, uh, we'll take it under advisement, Mr. Mayor. Ah, he hasn't gotten the commission yet. He hasn't mm -hmm. been given the official Ladies orders. <laughs> He, he will have to kill the shark in the end. We'll be able to go to sleep tonight here. Is it realistic that a police chief would actually have that house, that view? Oh, yeah, possibly. He's on the yeah, beach. Yeah, it's not massive. Enough. It's on the. Hey, Mikey really loves his present. Where is he? Sitting in it. Good. Uh oh. Stop. All right, Michael, out of the boat. Get out of that boat! And it's his birthday tomorrow. I don't want him on the ocean. He's not on the ocean. He is in a boat. He's not going to go in the water. Rules, you know, before he goes out on his own. Michael! Did you hear your father <laughs> out in the water now? Now! He's going to his beach. Should I catch the shark? Come and get it! That works. He's got to pull the whole thing down and with him two in it. That's what I'm saying. Plane stick now. Yeah, that's a good one. Last second, he's got to go. Right? You're wrong. He made it. Oh, he made it. Hello. Hello, Beck. Young fella, how are you? So 70s. It's a pretty cool outfit, actually. Then can you tell me if there's a good restaurant or hotel on the island? Yeah, you walk straight ahead. <laughs> yeah, they're all gonna die. <laughs> yeah, they're all gonna die. That's right. We've got some roadblock signs outside. Oh. Oh, for Christ's sakes, you're the guy we called. I'm Brody, I'm Brody. Oh, oh I'm very glad to meet you. Yeah, I'm glad to meet you. Listen, the best thing for me to do is to uh, see the remains of the first victim, the girl on the beach. Okay, fine, just bear with me. Right? Easy, to have two dogs. Meaning, this was no boat accident. Did you notify the Coast Guard about this? No. It was only local jurisdiction. It's not a boat accident. It wasn't any propeller. And it wasn't Jack the Ripper. Oh, it was a shark. What the hell is that? Shark. They didn't get the shark, but they had covered. What? But what kind? What kind of shark? It's a tiger shark. A what? Oh, yeah, we always caught that. A oh, wow. oh, wow. There are all kinds of sharks in the waters, you know? Hammerheads, white tips, blues, makos. This is not the shark. It probably is, Martin. It probably is. It's a man eater. The fact is that the bite radius on this animal is different than the wounds on the victim. Yeah. I just. Yeah. Oh, the island is going to get And see that thing cut open? And see that little Kettner boy spill out all over the dock? Chief Brody. Yes. That a girl got killed here last week. And you knew it. You knew it was dangerous. But you let people go swimming anyway. It wasn't his fault, it was the bleeding mayor. Still, my boy is dead now. The mayor was next to him. I'm sorry, Mars. She's wrong. No, she's not. They settle the bits down before it stinks up the whole island. Harvey and Carl take it out to and dump it in the drink. I, it wasn't his fault, but it was the mayor's fault. But you can see where she was coming from as well. Like. It's irritating him. <laughs> kid's cute. Give us a kiss. Why? Because I need it. Mm. It tells me you're in sharks. You're in sharks. <laughs> in oh, sharks. I meant to say well, into yes, sharks. I, I've never heard of it. They caught a shark, not the shark. And probably not the shark that killed the little boy. 
which I wanted to prove today by cutting the shark open. But you, you know, you want to let that breathe for nothing. nothing. <laughs> it's like you know, it's coke like Ribena. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like you know, Ribena or yeah. Coke or something. Martin, Martin sits in his car when we go on the ferry to the mainland. So there's a clinical name for it, isn't there? Drowning. <laughs> it's a what? It's like a clinical name for it. Just drowning. In three, this guy. He, he keeps swimming around in a place where the feeding is good until the food supply is gone, right? Theory that I happen to agree with. We have one more drink and go down and cut that shark open. Martin? Can you do that? I can do anything. I'm the chief of police. <laughs> <laughs> I came up in the Gulf Stream from the southern waters. You cleaned up for Ooh. nothing. Well, he changed again. That's it. Did he? Martin, you still got a hell of a fish out there with a mouth about this big. Yeah, but I'm not drunk enough to go out on a boat. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You can't do that. Yes, you can. I'm not drunk enough to go out with you on a boat. <laughs> Doesn't make much sense for a guy who hates the water to live on an island, either. It's only an island if you look at it from the water. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> That's I love what I you have that feeling someone's due, jaws is due another snack. Yeah! <laughs> ben Gardner's you known. He's all banged up. Sure, I know him. He's a fisherman. That's what it's Oh no, 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 no. Is he insane? <laughs> know how fast that monster is. What is that a tooth? He's like, fuck! No, 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 is he gonna get eaten? Is he gonna get eaten? A shark is attracted to the exact kind of splashing and activity that occurs whenever human beings go in swimming. You cannot avoid it. I don't know I don't know if I have a favorite character, but I definitely have a least favorite, and that's you know, feed him to the shark. Larry, Larry, if we make an effort today, we might be able to save August. August? For Christ's sake, tomorrow's the 4th of July. Those beaches will be open for this weekend. Thank you, watch. It's a large menu, isn't it? A cloud has appeared on the horizon of this beautiful resort community in the shape of a killer shark. That's Peter Benchley who wrote the novel. Mm. The cameo. Oh, really? Yeah. Nobody's going in. Please, can Why isn't he going into the water? From the kids. Wait, it's, I thought like she's terrified. Look at her. He tells her really young age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, Mike, yeah, do me a favor. You and the other guys take the boat and put it in the pond instead. Thanks. So, is he? We don't hear the music yet. Uh oh. <laughs> That's the shark. Red one, red one. Martin, you out of the oh no, please don't tell me it was that was actually a joke. You were right. Hmm. Uh, but that now they're gonna be caught by the actual shark. He made me do it. He made me do it. Please do it. Please move back. Oh, we had out there. Michael's in the pond. Get that done. You can't do a damn oh, no. thing. Get it's like his son. Oh, no. I'm doing it. You guys okay over there? Oh, fuck. <gasps> oh, no, no. Please don't tell me his child is going to get killed. Is that his son? He's dead. No, he's not. He's in shock. Oh, 
what the mayor has to say now. Well, another person. Another killed. stupid thing. What? Doctor said he's okay. Miles Shaw can't go home in the morning. Thank you. Sorry, I, I'm truly sorry. Oh no, he's actually Larry. sorry. My kids. Well, that be true. Whose fault is that? Sign it, Larry. Yeah, and don't forget the color TV. All right, he's he's killed a load of sharks. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm not talking about hooking some poor dogfish or sand shark. I'm talking about finding a great white. In that city, hands, Mr. Hooper. You count money all your life. All right, all right, all right. Hey, I don't need this. I don't need this working class hero crap. Maybe I should go alone. It's my party. It's my charter. Yeah, it's your charter. It's your party. It's my vessel. Board my vessel. Mate. Master, pilot, and I'm captain. Case goes in the water, you go in the water, sharks in the water. Farewell and adieu to you, fair. <laughs> <laughs> Farewell and adieu. It's got to be Clint. This collection of Colorful, isn't it? What am I supposed to do with the kids? Tell them I'm going fishing. So you got your rubbers? <laughs> <laughs> the body of Mary Lee died at the age of 103. 15 years she kept her virginity. Not a bad record for this vicinity. <laughs> All right, come on, and then like, it's like, uh, Robert, this is a great song, but um, who, who's a boy who wants to get the rights to use it? They probably need in that. I read it on a tombstone in Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great shot for the lungs, yeah. yeah. I mean, Nowadays, these kids, they take out everything. Radar, Zona, Electric Tooth, Electric Smoke. Expensive gear you brought out here, Mr. Hooper. But I don't know what that bastard shark's gonna do with it. He might eat it, I suppose. Oh, it's back into the cave again. It's not too good, is it, Chief? That would be me. That's why Chief Brody's my favorite. Really. He's kind of like the audience. I mean, he's completely out of his element. He's not an expert at all, you know? No. I got it! What? Get behind me! Uh, teeth are coming out in a minute, in a minute, in a minute. It's too easy. He's a smart, big fish. He's got under the boat. Just that glass right, thing. You don't listen to me, don't listen to me. It's not a shark. The wire's showing. The wire's showing. Well, it proves one thing, Mr. Hooper. It proves that you wealthy college boys don't have the education enough to admit when you're wrong. <laughs> What's the point? That was not good. Ronnie! Got that chum uh -huh. Would not be your favorite spot now. No, right? not at all. But I have to admit, I'm not afraid of heights, and that would not be my favorite spot mm -hmm. either. I can go slow ahead. Come on down and chum some of this shit. Oh, fuck! You're gonna need a bigger boat. You ever heard that line? That's a famous line. Yeah, it is. I've heard it. Shut off that engine! It's big in it, so I'll say. Massive. Oh no! No! Come on! Back four! I need to have something in the foreground to give us a chance! Yellow! Yeah, <laughs> Hold it up, he's coming straight for us. Don't screw it up now. Don't wait for me. Shoot! Uh-oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This one track pulled it down. That's what I meant. What you make of Quint? Yeah, he's gonna be the first one to go. Chief. Mm. Don't you worry about it, Chief. Mm. It won't be permanent. It won't be permanent. <laughs> Look at this for flexibility. What's this? What's this? <laughs> I got something for you. <laughs> That's the thresher. She's a man she thing thresher's to tail. Do. Mary Ellen Moffat. She broke my heart. <laughs> <laughs> then the shark What's just comes one? up in the background there. <laughs> 
than that. It'd be a very different film. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Mother. That's all the movies that don't tell me more than mother. To who put that's the USS Indianapolis? <laughs> Japanese submarine slammed two torpedoes into our side chief. No distress signal had been sent. They were actually eaten by sharks? Yeah, it really happened. They didn't even oh. list us who would do for a week. Back comes the nearest man, then when he start pounding and hollering and screaming, sometimes the shark would go away. Sometimes he wouldn't go away. Oh, then you hear that terrible high-pitched screaming. The ocean turns red. And... Chief, I bumped into a friend of mine, Herbie Robinson, Cleveland. I thought he was asleep. I reached over to wake him up. He'd been bitten in half below the waist. Oh, God. So, 1,100 men went in the war. 316 men come out of the sharks took oh, the wow. rest. Anyway, we delivered the bomb. I had a little drink about an hour ago. <laughs> They're singing. Ah, oh, there it is. It's live. Okay. Put out the fire. Don't waste your time, Quinn. Come on. Or see something beautiful there in a second. Something you should say. Seriously, just keep watching. Oh. You okay? Is that it? Yeah. There it is! What do you say, Chief? The barrel is up, it's right in the stern. When he runs, you drop that rope or you'll lose your hands. Chief's trying to see, even though he's not the expert, he's trying to some good suggestions. Bring it right around the cleat! Give him room, Brody! No! Oh, no! You pull out the transom! Flipper! Flipper! <laughs> Different to flipper in there. It's impossible! It's impossible! Some strength, it doesn't pull the cleats off. It's swimming away. Whoever have one do this before? I don't know. Shit. Fighter. Shallow water, gonna draw him in and drown him. We're heading in, Brody. My Christ. How far do we have to go? Wait, don't I need some whistling. This is a good dog with too much pressure on it. Oh, dear stop lord. Shit. Now the boat is fecked. He just run the fucking wreck the engine. Like, that was his own doing there. Like, it's completely tilted. Mm -hmm. There's no other boat nearby. And the shark's looking forward to having a snack soon. What exactly can you do with these things of yours? 
I can get him close enough to this cage. I think I could get him in the mouth or the arm. shark with that cage. You got any better suggestions? You're in your cage soon, aren't you? Your shark, your shark repellent cage soon. <laughs> Special, uh, special offer in IKEA during the summer months, you know. Yeah. That's why you worked in their carriages, they just kind of clash a little bit on set. Dreyfus and Robert Shaw. Kind of thinking, I don't know if this is a good idea, he's probably thinking now, like, oh my god, like a six year old. <laughs> Whoa! I told you he was gonna come from the back, and he did! Oh god, fast. Oh, oh. Of course he did. That's a real shark. Right? I'm gonna get out to get the thing, is it? Yeah, well, how's the knife going to help him? But is he getting out? Is he actually getting out? Yeah, but the shark's gonna get him, right? That's a good shot. That's a good shot. Oh no! No, no, no. Okay, so he's... Shark food. He doesn't. Ah. Yep. I think Quint's a gunner. Oh no, he's next. He's up for the next snack. It's like the image you already saw in the book here in the film. It was like a shark with yeah. a tank in his mouth. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's terrifying, isn't it? Oh my god. That's as terrifying as the shark itself. Yeah. What happened to the other guy? Like, he's down on the. Bottom of the now that looks like a good option. Yeah, I definitely got up, but no. We don't have enough strength to no kind momentum of really to bring it down properly. I'll try and get his eyes though. That's what I'm about. That looks like there's two shots there. Yeah. Does he need to get the thing so that it explodes? So he doesn't show me the tank, that's what he was saying. Come on, you can shoot. That's your forte. Aww. Poor the shark. The peaceful music of, you know, shark of remains. <laughs> also, like, a moment of release. Yeah, after the tension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh. <laughs> Yay, we did it! <laughs> In the book, though, I'll tell you actually after a bit. So, one second. They both die. Barrels came in handy. I was gonna say, what are they gonna do? Some of the barrels? What day is this? And that was Jaws. And. Oh no, wait, that was a vampire. I have to do my Jaws impression. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really tell of a difference there, but I thought you just do the... No, one one had the you, hands. You could have done the other one didn't. You, you could have done Ted doing Jaws in the charades from Robert Dougal. Tongue fish, fish tongue. <laughs> <laughs> and Jaws too. Oh, oh, close then. Uh, 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 Superman too. Batman Returns. <laughs> you had it. It was Jaws. No, oh, Ted. Jaws too. It's a very different film. A very different film. It's a different shark. <laughs> It's anyway, a different shark. It is. Yeah, we yeah. have. Well, you actually, maybe we might watch Jaws two at some point. Yeah, know? yeah, 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 um, absolutely. But not as good as the first one. But anyway, well, let's get into your verdict of the first one. Uh, what did you think? I actually thought it was great. Yeah. 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 So I would have, I would have anticipated more shots of the shark going, you know, <laughs> like, uh, you know, doing his, uh, poking his lovely face out well, of the water. The reason why they didn't show it as much. And that was because it just they couldn't get it to work. Yeah, but the, the shark. Yeah, yeah. But people said that it actually made the film better because it was the suggestion of the shark and like yeah. the music 
was so fantastic yeah, that that gave the presence of the shark mm-hmm. is there, you know. And also that music became so famous. Oh it? yeah, yeah. It's uh, like if if you if you want to <coughs> if you want anything like to suggest that anything dangerous is happening, mm. just go. Exactly. But what I like, and I just noticed you, you just kind of naturally, you were saying how like you were like, oh, the score is actually really good. You're like, oh, that's actually a really good shot, and mm-hmm. you seem to be into the characters. I think just gathering from what I'm hearing. I think you could tell that it was a really well-made film and well-acted. Oh, know? no, absolutely, yeah. 100%. Yeah. And I have to say it was also well-acted. Yes, yeah. Um, yeah. So because, you know, some older films, uh, that's not the case. So everything mm. seems a bit more theatrical. Or well, so you're just coming to think of Dracula in particular, I think, from yeah. stuff coming up to that. Yeah. But no, I, I, don't but... Think a lot of, I actually think sometimes the opposite. I think sometimes, like if you watch Jimmy Stewart, for example, like I think he's a great actor. I think sometimes the acting is more enjoyable of older films. Um, but maybe it is the opinion. same. Maybe it is the yeah. same with older and younger films. Like you either have good acting or you don't. I think so. It's more you know? that. So I like it's kind of actors. you have great actors well, nowadays and you also have terrible yeah. ones. But I think like so, the three like no. guys and also like no, they were they had good and chemistry. The wife and the mayor were really yeah, good yeah. well supporting yeah, yeah. characters. Yeah, yeah. You know, no, they had also they had good chemistry. They did. Yeah, it was it was kind of like the three characters kind of yeah. worked together because yeah. you, you had the you had Quinn who was very. Uh, you know, kind of like a, a wild, uh, you know, the, the the wild child, and uh, he had you know, the vendetta as well. Yeah, he just also, was like, so yeah, yeah. Had to get the shark. He was like, yeah, I'm gonna kill this fucking shark, <laughs> and uh, you know, and then you you have the 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 uh, you know your, your little scientist guy Hooper, who's yeah. who's uh, who's also uh, you know quite um, uh, into is, it. Yeah, but and, in a different way to Quint. Yeah. yeah, yeah, in a very different way to yeah. print. And then you have obviously you have uh, um, uh, you you have your your police uh, Brody, guy, Chief Brody. Uh, exactly. You have your chief who's just like he's right, us basically. Can we can we can we get this over with? <laughs> yeah. Like, I'd like my children to be able to go back into the sea again. Also, <laughs> uh, I don't want to fight around with the mayor anymore. Also. Uh, people are blaming me, so I want to come back with the, you know, with, with the good news that the sharks actually did. Yeah, but like, but so, yeah, I, but like I'll say, he he is literally the audience. He's us, like yeah, he's, he he's no pun intended, the fish out of water. <laughs> just doesn't know what is going. Just like, do you know when they first see the shark? It was like we're going to get a bigger boat, right? Huh? How do we handle this? How do we handle this? And that he would was be right. me. He was but right. He was they right. Yeah. They needed a bigger boat. Yeah. Um, didn't have a bigger boat, but hey, they made it in the end. Just coming back, like to what was probably. Because it was a couple of times that they got you, but what would you think was maybe the most intense or the scariest moment in the film? Because it has, like, you can see why there are elements where it does kind of appear as a horror film in some Um, ways. Frankly, I think it would have actually been the dead guy underwater. Oh, yeah. Like, because just, I did not see that coming at all. Yeah, yeah. You also forgot with that. And also the first time that the shark actually comes out of the water where... When Chief Brody's uh, chumming the fish. Exactly, where, where, uh, you know, only Chief Brody sees him. That's also pretty scary. Yeah. So, like, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, that those would have been the moments because apart from that, you just see this, you know, you you Mm. see him a little bit. Obviously, what, what was also very scary, even though anticipated was when he was destroying the cage yes you know like that was that was also pretty pretty scary because mm. he was like oh god what did you make of the first scene because I, I with the girl because i think that's quite unnerving because again originally the script was the shark was going to come out of the water but again because it, it wasn't working in some ways it probably works because you, you're visualizing what's happening beneath the surface of the water and it's like we left join or swimming no, you I can't would, see what's would, under you i would you actually know? i would actually agree i think for mm-hmm. the first scene yeah um also because there was still technically you know technically a little bit of mystery that yeah i think it was actually better than you that you didn't see the shark yeah. uh and that the girl just sort of you know she did all the she, came apart <laughs> literally yeah. you know like, her like, screams gives you all yeah. the information you need yeah. and what's going yeah. on there yeah you yeah, know yeah absolutely and like that's what people say sometimes that it was a blessing in disguise that the shark yeah. Wasn't working all the time because they had yeah. to be more inventive with how they framed scenes or films yeah. and stuff, you know. Even though, as I said, with her, like she didn't scream straight away. You're like, if mm. anything bites me, instinctively the first thing I do is scream. Well, and she didn't. Yeah, you're right in some ways, but I think also it might be that thing of just just shock. Yeah, but no, happened, no, no, like, no, no, no. Like you know, first, I because think he mightn't have bitten properly. It could have just been first, could have been a pull. 
like a yank obviously would still hurt a bit but yeah but you'd still really... be i think you'd still be screaming yeah. though but i think she was just in shock initially nah you know? i don't believe that mm-hmm. well, i don't know like, but what do you guys like... think could it have been would you scream instantly i'm sure some would or would it yes. just is it possible some would just be a shock of like what was this mammoth thing that just either brushed against me or pulled me down yeah but like or actually it, it was if you would down, if you down. if you would touch anything you personally yeah if you went swimming and you would touch anything anything would touch your foot you you'd be screaming the whole place now would i yeah <laughs> so you know Did I? <laughs> you've never seen me swim i don't even yeah i would definitely 100 so if if anything you'd be like ah! you know like, so like only if it was a spider only if it was a spider yeah underwater oh, spider geez, with big yeah. teeth Make things more that's scary. terrifying now. That's proper terrifying. <laughs> Maybe that's a thing that we, yeah. people should invent a big horror film about. But anyway, anyway, but I'm glad on the whole though, you did enjoy it quite a bit. Oh, I'm it was it was good. That. Actually, yeah. I really liked it's the movie. Really, I have to classic. say, it's a really yeah. good movie. Yeah. That's good. So you love Terminator, you love Joe. Well, yeah. and really enjoyed both of them. I did. Uh, and you quite enjoyed Psycho as well. Yeah. Yeah. Let's say it was a. Oh well, no! Mother. No, what you said? What you said about Psycho was. You liked it, but you wouldn't watch it again. No, I wouldn't watch it again. Yeah. No, it was not bad. It was not. Like you appreciate it was well, well made. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Dracula, however. I like Dracula as well. You know. But as I said, it's because it's coming out. It's it's very yeah. theatrical. But as I say, yeah. I really actually I really liked that one, mm. and I think a lot of it was definitely down to the acting. Mm. Because it was very good acting, and obviously, you know, as I previously stated. Um, Especially in the first half of the film, it's actually really nice scenery as well. Mm, yeah, you know, so like that's that's yeah, that's it's like two different good. films. The first half is kind of you know beach attacks mm-hmm. and Chief Brody trying to get in control of yeah. things and the mayor blocking them, and then yeah. obviously the second half is the tree of them going off to hunt the shark. Yeah. So it's like just two portions to the film, really, yeah. you know. Uh, yeah. but, but I'd like to see uh, the, the, the sequel. Yeah, I mm-hmm. will just say one thing. I just say they're not like. I like, yeah, well, they're not as good. The first one is the best. The second one I enjoy quite a bit. They do derail into, like... The third one. The third and fourth. No, I I I wouldn't watch watch three and four. I think I would watch two, you know, like... Two is is, is the the most closely linked to the first one. I will say that. Um, Yeah, three, like, the fourth one. I was going to say the premise of the fourth one. The shark follows family from... The U.S. to the Bahamas. It's yeah, like, no, that's. It's almost like it. psychic powers. Yeah, no. uh, yeah. It, I mean, you could watch it and enjoy it for how bad it is. Actually, Michael Caine is in it as well. Like they asked him once, they said, uh, "So, did you ever watch Jaws: Revenge?" Back, and he said, uh, "He said, no. I've heard uh, the film is terrible, but it. Uh, I, I, I haven't seen the film, but I've seen the beautiful house it built for me. <laughs> that's what he said about it. <laughs> but um, anyway, guys, um, we hope you enjoyed the reaction, and we'll be back soon. I think probably. Terminator 2 might be the next one that we watch. Um, mm-hmm. So we will look forward. Hopefully, you can check us or join us for that one. But uh, until next time, guys, slong of all. Slong, motherfuckers.